we've always said it's not a question of if, but when, and the when is now. You have been hit with a ransomware or other type of cyber attack. And what are you going to do? My name is Roy Hadley. I'm a member of the Privacy, Cybersecurity, and Data Management team at the law firm of Adams and Reese. In the famous words of Mike Tyson, everybody has a plan until you get hit in the mouth and you have been hit in the mouth. People are scrambling. Your organization is in chaos. Your goods or services are not hitting the marketplace. Why? Because of some type of cyber incident. What should you do? What's the plan? Now is the time to dust off that plan that you hopefully have, that incident response plan, that crisis management plan, that plan that will allow you to bring some semblance of order to the chaos, that plan that will allow you to have a roadmap for standing your operations back up, that plan that will allow you to communicate both internally and externally, that plan that will allow you to ultimately get to your business continuity plan. Yes, incident management is here and now. Increasingly, we're seeing ransomware attacks probably on a four to five fold increase, if not more, from 2020. The bad actors have been very active this year, and it's incumbent upon you as a leader in your organization to be prepared. What does that mean? That means that you need to have your incident management plan. You need to understand, and everybody in your organization needs to understand that plan. That plan needs to have been tested and stress tested in order to know what to do when something happens. It's often said that the time to think about what you're going to do is not when the bullets are flying, but beforehand. So now is the time before the bullets are flying to think about that incident response plan. If you don't have one, you need to get one. That is going to be your first line of defense, response and recovery, when and if something happens. In the interim, what can you do? Make sure your data is backed up. Make sure that you understand patch management and software management. Make sure you understand vendor management. And also make sure that you've implemented multi-factor authentication in your organization. But first and foremost, let's make sure you have that incident response plan. Let's make sure it's been tested. Let's make sure that everybody knows about it. And let's make sure that you, as a leader in your organization, are prepared for the inevitable. Again, it's not a question of if, but when. My name is Roy Hadley, and I hope that this Cyber Minute has been informative, and I hope it has been helpful. Stay safe. And thank you.